the last performance for today. Everybody, I want you to put your hands together. This is the thoughts that I have. Originally... Not... All right. The piece was originally written... Oh, it was originally written and to the is left, now right going to be performed left. by Mr. Christopher Dominique <laughs> of the Vidbite Secondary School. I swear, Vidbite, you've come out in a big way. Give it up. Collaborations category. It, this is the last performance of today, and then the judges will deliberate to announce the winners in each category. Get ready. The Word Alive International Literary Festival continues tonight with Phil Knight, cinematography with Robert Yaramasa from Trinidad and Tobago. We also have Pace and Lee Productions from St. Lucia. The festival continues tomorrow with the Word Alive 6 International Literary Competition and Sunday Storytelling. Vidbutai Secondary School, thoughts that I have. Chris is a student who has done exceptionally well in school. He is currently pursuing a double major in business and literature. His lecturers and peers speak highly of him especially because he has just gotten the award for most exceptional students at the university. Often, his friends would gather around him just to listen to his literary genius. Let me not exaggerate it, overstress or overstate it, though they try to emulate, impersonate and replicate the shoes of a fool like Shaw don't fit. I articulate every word that I spit when you verbalize, I am no sound, I am the king, I wear the crown, I am the king, I wear the crown. However, Chris has a dark side. He is involved in some underhanded business with the most vicious criminals on the island. He sits on a bench at UE thinking about what his next vicious moves would be. Hmm, what should be done? An ambush or precisely planned setup? How should I share these profits? 60-40? Maybe 70 40. And committing a federal offense and using school as a cover up? Chris, you are a genius. And using the Mexican suppliers, I just might be able to take over this drug trade. Surrounded by individuals who are ready to shoot just so I don't have to. <laughs> Maybe I should take care of the competition. This thing is not big enough for the both of us. Isn't it brilliant how the mind was designed? Millions of thoughts, not all of a kind. Some can be wholesome, but others are blind. Forever rehearsing a shameful mime. My mind has a voice that I alone hear. Sneakily secreting into my ear. Isn't it great that they cannot be heard? Wonderful, yes! But completely absurd to say that such thoughts are only mere words while subtle and woolly fires they churn! Some shooting took place at about 5.25 p.m. near the grounds of the University of the West Indies on the morn. Police investigations revealed that the victim is the well-known Chris Dominic, well-loved by us all. Mr. Dominic is currently fighting for his life at the Tapia Hospital in a coma. University lecturer Tim Jones says that it is unfortunate how innocent people suffer 
on account of increasing criminal activity on the island. More on this report in the news at 7. My child, my child, why have you gone astray? While you are yet living, you are in fact dead. You do not have a true relationship with me. Now, about these thoughts that you have. Thought, thoughts, Lord! But how? How do you flee from it? Sit the there. You silence your head. No, you can dare. In the absence of thought, pandemonium's the scourge. Words are an option, but thought must emerge. Isn't it quick how thoughts can be changed? We use every neuron in our brain. I have many thoughts which have come and have gone and some which have even left me undone. I do have some moments where thought has me bound and pray a cathartic moment be found. But I fear, I fear you can know the thoughts that I think if I dare think aloud then the secrets in ink <laughs> at last <laughs> I'm revealing my thinking misdeeds and beg for your mercy I beg you oh please I have go and sin no more Thank you very much. 